Hi, I'm Tiam Singh. I'm going to share a quick tip with you in this video on how to change the name of elements. Let's look at the HVAC elements in our project. And we want to change the name lever in capitals to small letter LEV. To do this, we will normally use the rename function. For the rename function, there is an option to rename all below the selected element or just the element. For this case, whatever we select to start with, we need to go through each element which can be tedious. So I'm going to share with you how I will do it. Let's start by telling you about the assignment command in E3D. In E3D, you use the exclamation mark to set a variable. For example, we use the exclamation mark ABC, variable ABC, to set it to a string called capital ABC. And I can do a print on the screen and the dollar before the exclamation ABC just basically converts whatever the variable is into its value. So I've reset the ABC to DEF and you can see that it prints DEF now. The single exclamation mark is a local variable. That means it is only accessible within the command window. A double exclamation mark means the variable is global. Using a global variable, this variable is accessible throughout any scripts or everywhere within the E3D program before you exit. E3D have a default global variable CE that is assigned to the current element. Using QVAR, I can see the value of the CE variable. So just issue the command Q space VAR exclamation exclamation CE and you will get the information about its value. So let's see how I can modify the name with this little knowledge I have. First, I will use the search to actually extract all the HVAC that are in my project. If you want more information about using the search utility, please click the links to our other videos and that will help you to understand how the search utility works. So now that we have done our search, we can look at the collection which is the list of items that have been found with our search criteria. Next, I'm going to enter my command in the apply command to Content. So basically, I'm changing the ce.name into ce.name, which is what the name was before. And I use a replace, which is a string function, to change level to lev. After inputting the command, let's apply it. And you can see that all the levs have been level has been replaced with LEV small letters. Because the first HVAC element does not have the word level, it will not be modified. What I show you is something that I will use to change the name to a different format or using information from other sources. So I hope this gets you started to getting more efficient with E3D. See you next time. Bye.